There is no despair in the world. Talk to Hashem for one hour every day. Every day of our life, yearn, pray, and make a practical effort to live in Eretz Israel. There's only one necessary path, and that's simplicity. Welcome to the Simple Life Breastlift Podcast. I am Akiva Nachman. And this episode is in the merit and success of Chava Amuna Bat Sarah, Leah Nava Bat Chava Amuna, Betzalo Moshe Ben Chava Amuna, Malka Rivka Bat Chava Amuna, Eliza Por Bat Chava Amuna, Bat Yechaya Bat Chava Amuna, Yosef Simcha Ben Chava Amuna, and for the Refuah Shlema of Anita Pulley and Anisha Lee. Also for the protection of all the IDF soldiers and for the protection and safe release of all the hostages. I'm going to title this one, The Company You Keep. So in Rebbe Nachman's Restore My Soul, we talked about that on one episode previously, page 76, lesson number 18. So in this particular section, these are all lessons from Lakute Halachot. So that is Reb Natan's commentary on the Shulchan Aruch. It is a gem, I tell you. Lesson 18. There are three klipot that separate a person from God. The first attacks him in the head. It enters his brain and his mind with thoughts of money and other desires. The second gets him in the heart. It fans a burning sensual passion. If there were these two at work, the person would still have the hope that some good point would survive with him and help him master the passions of his heart and the thoughts in his brain. The third klipa is the worst of all. It seeks to winnow its way into a person's being to demoralize him and to throw him into full-fledged retreat. Quote, Why are you exhausting yourself in the company of all these pious and truly God-fearing people? Haven't you been with them long enough? It hasn't made the slightest difference to your wicked thoughts and the lust in your heart. It's no use. You'd be better off making money and being like everyone else. End quote. After working on himself for ages, the person still sees signs of progress. He may feel even worse than before he started, the third klipa is the worst because it wants the person to go into retreat. In fact, there is value in simply spending time in the company of honest, God-fearing people. And in his heart, this person knows the truth. Being close to Zadikim and God-fearing people did not cause him all this torment. Rather, had he listened to their guidance and followed it, things would have been good for him now and forever. But the power of free will is great indeed. That is why he did what he did. Who knows what might have happened had he not been close to them at all. There is a sly one who waits in ambush all the days of your life. And this is from his lesson on Shabbat 6 and 12. The company we keep determines the future we seek for ourselves. Meaning, our future is determined by who we spend time with. If we are spending time with God-fearing, pious people, people who love Torah, People who love doing kind things, love doing good works, people who are nice, people who are happy, people who are joyous. You know, there are some people that we can get around and these people inspire us so much to get closer to God because we see their lives. We see their marriage. We see their relationship with their children. Every single area of their lives are thriving. This is crucial to our Yiddishkeit, that we attach ourselves to the Zadikim that we listen to the words of the Zadikim. W without the Zadikim, we don't know how to connect to Hashem. What do I mean by this? Well, how do we learn how to wrap to fill in? From the Zadikim, you can't open up the Chumash and find out exact details on how to wrap to fill in. Even the mitzvah of Zitzit, we can't look in the Chumash to find out exactly what they look like. How do we put them on? What kind of garments? Exactly where on our garments? We can only find these things in the oral Torah. And the oral Torah is the explanation of the commandments. Meaning, we need the Zadikim to learn how to connect with Hashem. So making sure that we're close to the Zadikim, that we're listening to their words, that we're listening to their teachings. Because again, Reb Natan teaches here that rather had he listened to their guidance and followed it, Things would have been good for him now and forever. When we're close to them and we follow their guidance and we have those type of people in our lives, then we can rest assured that our future will be bright. So I pray that Hashem sends us amazing people into our lives, 
people who love Torah, people who love Hashem, people who only wants to do good, people who love to give, those people who, when we're around them, we get inspired to grow closer and closer to Hashem. I pray that God sends Klal Yisrael righteous leaders, leaders who have fear of Hashem, leaders who can help us in our Torah observance and to guide us on how to truly connect with Hashem so that we can be worthy of drawing closer to Hashem and learning how to serve Hashem in simplicity, in faith, and in truth. I love you guys very much. Have a great day.